Hi, my name is Cole Russell, and this is my Browning Trombone 22. Issued shorts, longs, long rifles. It is a pump action. This is the release for the action. The safety is back here. And this is the magazine. It's a tube magazine. It holds 7 to 14 rounds. <coughs> we always make sure that the guns are pointed in safe directions. Always assume that it is a loaded firearm. Never pointed at anybody. Always keep the actions open. Even when it's unloaded, we like to keep the actions open. Make sure the safety is on. Watch our muzzle up at the ground or always down range. The trapper over the years, these Just are some like of the salts I've done. Trapped them, tanned them all myself. This is a fox, there's a skunk, and a mink, a raccoon. I did that squirrel. And this is another fox, and I trapped and tanned that type myself as well. Alright, this is my Beretta A400 12 gauge. It shoots 3.5 inch, 3 inch, and 2 and 3 quarter shells. It is a semi automatic shotgun. That little button there is the action. This is the safety here. Once again, we always keep the barrel in a safe direction up, down, or down range as we are going to shoot. Uh, this is actually my favorite shotgun. I shoot a lot of trap with it and I shoot a lot of waterfowl with it. You can do what I did and put an extended handle on here. Better for grabbing with gloves, etc. I have a shell catcher here for when I shoot trap. There's a little piece of metal that goes in there that folds over and it catches the shell from flying out, so you're not always bending down. And that is my Beretta A400. Alright, this is a longbow, and here are some parts of the longbow. Here's the limb, this is the rest, this is the string. This longbow you can shoot it left handed or right handed. I am right handed and I am going to demonstrate on a shooting tip. This is also an arrow. This is the shaft. These are the fletchings. This is the knot. And this is the tip. And that's how you shoot a bow. Here's some useful tips for some basic rope finding. If you get out of the lodge and you go outside to the base of the trail and you look at your compass and it says that you are headed east right now that's what my compass says for me you know if you're walking down the trail east without any bends you can go keep going and turn around and go west but if you get misplaced in the woods you can always walk west back to the lodge and if you know it is south say a road you could always walk south and always hit that road and walk back down the road to the lodge or if there's a stream to the north you can walk down to the stream and walk back west down the stream and then you can always get back to the lodge that way as well also it's always a good thing to carry some flagging tape flagging tape is good for if you don't know where you're going you can always just mark out a little piece of tree it just rips nice and easy you can tie it up on a tree branch and 100 yards down you can do that again and you can turn around and follow your flagging tape back and you can go back the way you came all right today we're going to do some explanations of how to make a campfire i am unable to make a campfire today just because it's been extremely wet the last few days and everything is soaked so I am going to explain it. Even if it was a cold day, middle of winter, 
and you needed to get some warmth, dry your socks after a long day of hiking, make some coffee, you could take some newspaper, ball it all up, crunch it up, put it down, put a bunch of little sticks, leaves, all that on top of it in like a little teepee so that there's lots of airflow. Fire needs oxygen. Without oxygen, it will not be a fire. It will go out. So the teepee acts as a way of air to come in and out so that it's getting the oxygen in and the carbon monoxide out. And from there, you can just keep adding and adding and adding and it will get bigger as big as you would like it. You don't need a big campfire. You just need something small to keep you warm. Maybe cook some fish on that you caught that day, whatever. And then, once you're done with the fire, you can get a bucket or your water bottle, whatever you have, and you can pour water on it until it is all out. And once it is all out, you would like to make sure it's out. You can also pour some sand on it just to make sure that it's still out not going to reignite we don't want bushfires forest fires and we also don't want to leave any of our trash behind from whatever we put out like our coffee we don't need no coffee trash like the bags that the coffee comes in or anything so make sure you clean up after yourselves and have safe fires why i would like to work in the outdoors full time is because i love it outside I love the birds, I love the fish, I love being outside with Mother Nature. I've grown up my whole life, my friends and family have always been outside, so have I. We're always outside in the nature, enjoying the beautiful things, the rivers, the streams, the lakes, the bushes, the fields, the meadows, and I love being outside and love being part of the nature. So, 